Hey everybody, it's Sky again. <laughs> uh, I want to welcome you all to D2L Basics for Faculty eCourse lesson number three. Uh, so congratulations on making it this far. And if you haven't checked out lessons one and two, now might be a good time. But if not, if you're here just for lesson three, well, you've come to the right place. Um, so this set of lessons is going to focus on the creation and adding of content in D2L. So really, kind of one of the main functions of D2L overall. This is really, I'd say, probably one of the most important courses um, that we're going to have in this entire series. Uh, so some of the stuff that this will deal with will like be adding content like syllabi, um, documents and handouts, things uh, that link to other places on the web, like links and, and articles and all of that kind of content, all, I mean, obviously it all falls under the, the umbrella term content, but that's the kind of stuff that we're going to be looking at, how to add, how to put that out there for your students, where to put it, how to link it to other things. All of that's going to be covered uh, in this set of lessons. And even if you're not going to be using D2L for much more than presenting an online syllabi or syllabus to your um, students, we're going to talk about that as well. So it's still a good idea to soak in the different parts of these videos and this uh, lesson as a whole. I'm going to be honest with you, it's probably going to be the longest um, lesson that we have in this e-course, but don't be alarmed. It's not particularly complex and difficult to understand. There's just a lot of steps uh, to adding some of this content and moving it around. So like I said, don't be too worried. Just know that there are a lot of little steps for some of these things, and that's why it tends to be a little bit longer. Um, one really important thing that I want to make sure everybody understands right off the bat is the content area in D2L is organized into what are called modules. So when you have a module, think content folder. Uh, that's just a fancy way of saying this is where your content is, and it can be a little tricky to maneuver and set up those modules, but we're going to have a video covering just specifically that as well, so don't be too worried. And I would encourage you that once you do watch the module tutorial video to really spend some time just playing around with them um, and getting a hang and feel for how that whole part of this, uh, this D2L content area works. Because once you do figure it out, the rest of the content area, navigating it, adding things, taking things off is going to become very intuitive um, very quickly. So like I said, make sure you understand the modules. That's one of the biggest parts. Now, as far as browsers go, you're going to probably want to use Chrome or Firefox. They tend to be the best for some of the functions of D12, the biggest one being the drag and drop function. So if you have a file a piece of content on your computer that you want to put into your course, you can drag it literally out of the folder on your computer and into the content, uh, the add content area in D2L in a module. Very, very cool, fluid, easy functionality, but it tends to work best on Chrome and Firefox. Safari, Microsoft Edge, they're good browsers, and D2L will certainly work on them, but the issue that we tend to see more with those ones is that when they update it doesn't always coincide very well with the d2l updates and you know we admin d2l we don't run those browsers obviously so we don't know when they're going to update you know it's it's kind of whenever those particular companies decide to put an update out however if something doesn't work it's probably because there's an update in the browser that you know maybe isn't working with that particular version of d2l so with Edge and Safari, sometimes things disappear for no reason. That's why I would recommend highly that you use Chrome or Firefox as they tend to be the best. Um, I will say this as well. A good rule of thumb for troubleshooting D2L is if something's not working the way it should or something's not there, I would recommend that you try a different browser. If you're not sure, try opening D2L and doing that function on a different browser. Sometimes, like I said, the updates, it's hard to keep track of, and maybe that particular function just isn't working for some reason on that browser with that update. If it's not working, try it on another browser. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to this intro video. Uh, again, don't be intimidated by this lesson. It's going to be a really, really good one. I promise it's going to be fun. It's going to be very, very informative. Uh, It'll be a little bit longer, but the steps are easy to follow. Like I said, it's not particularly hard. There's just a lot of steps that you got to keep track of. Um, but as always, you can refer back to these videos whenever you want to. 
you can always contact me or the rest of CETL if you need help or guidance or anything like that. Like I said, I'm Sky. I'm SL Toland at OKCU.edu. And our CETL help email is online help at OKCU.edu. We are here for you. As I always say, I love being able to support you guys in making the best possible learning experience for the students, and I still do. So good luck. Really soak this one in. And as we say in my hometown, don't forget to be awesome.